Russell, um, Stephen Silas said that during the interview process that you vouched for him and that he's not sure he'd have the job if it weren't for you. What impressed you about him? Uh, you know, I like uh, great four guys. And, uh, you know, I'm very respectful of guys in their position. And, uh, you know, at the time I was part of the Rockets organization and uh, part of my job to be able to, you know, we get a new coach, want to talk to him, understand his goals, aspirations. Um, first time head coach and understand um, he may have things he may have in mind and I was just um, listening and understanding what the things he may have wanted and um, you know we we finally had a great relationship um, you know and I, I know he's going to do an amazing job as a head coach. Ava? Russ, um, Scotty kind of put it simply that he's just said you guys need to keep making more shots and turn the ball over left with less with the um, shorthanded roster that you guys have what do you view as the issues and what can you do as you're still kind of playing with fewer and fewer guys to get back into rhythm? I mean, you just got to figure it out. There ain't really too much to do. You got to figure it out. Everybody's playing in different positions. They're not normally playing in. Guys are playing more minutes than they ever played in their lives. And, you know, you just got to figure it out. Ain't nothing else to do. Anyone else? Yeah, I'll go again. If Go ahead. I, um, Russ, John said that um, the trash talk between you guys in the fourth quarter was just regular trash talk and you've been kicking his ass for years. What what did you say to him at that point? What was that little John at each other? Listen, you know, I think, I listen, I don't be start, I don't start talking shit. People just talking. Um, and I guess felt the need him and Demarcus to talk. Um, and I defend myself because I don't, you know, allow people just to say anything, especially when I know the facts as it pertains to anybody on the court playing up against, um, you know. So I think they just start talking, they just start to win, start to win at that time. So, you know, it's cool though. We play them again. Thanks, Russ. Uh, anyone else? Fred, I saw you just came back in, you have one? Yeah, I, I apologize if this has already been asked, but Russell, you guys have, have, have either lost some leads or been un, been unable to hold on to some of them late in games, last five minutes or so. What, what do you diagnose has been the problem? Just kind of, you know, you got to get back to playing, playing and get our rhythm back, uh, you know, getting our guys back, getting practice more, some practice time, you know, execution, stuff, you know, guys in different positions. You know, guys like myself, many restrictions. Can't really be on it. It's just, uh, you know, it's a lot of a lot of variables that goes into that. It's not as easy as it may look. Um, you know, so you got to figure it out. But uh, we will once we do. Um, you know, we'll be all right. I'll finish up with Ryan. Russ, uh, even though you only spent the one season in Houston, did this loss, um, you know, have any more of an impact, mean anything else to you? Or was it just kind of, you know, pick up and move on? No, I mean, unfortunately, I don't like losing um, to anybody uh, any, or any night. Um, it's just circumstances that how we lost is unfortunate, you know. Uh, but like I said, we play them one more time. Uh, and hopefully we have our guys back and be able to Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.